I'm going to go ahead and CG the plane just to make sure everything is um, still good for this flight. This is a, a 4,000 milliamp battery, 4S. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me go ahead and take the gear back, uh, um, back up, and we'll put the plane down. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go half laps. Somewhere around there. Take off this direction. Nice. Gear up. And go full flaps. And this is the beauty of this plane. It's just slow flight. Oh, just cruising. You know? That silhouette looks great. It looks so good. And it is a joy to fly, especially at scale speeds. It's just a joy. You know. Look at that. Nice. What a what a phenomenal flying plane. Until you do some other stuff. <laughs> yeah, what you do things it wasn't designed in, for. I am in low rate right now. I'm gonna go to high rate. Okay? This is high rate. Now, if you do a loop, it's nice and gentle. It's really nice. And this is the way that you end up, like when I was doing my uh, my maiden flight, my subsequent flights after that, you want to do like more graceful. Yeah, big loops. Big you know. loops like this, you know. So you want to go full throttle, bring it up, let it keep going, keep going, keep going, throttle down slowly. It just looks so nice yeah. on a plane like this. However, the problem is, is if you are trying to yank and bank this plane, so here, I'm going to go full throttle and go up. Mm, what happened? All that was was full up elevator. So that's what's called an accelerated stall. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially you're, you're bringing the angle attack so high um, that the wing itself stalls. And on this plane, um, it seems to do that a lot easier than other planes. So let me go to medium rates. This is book medium rates. Here we go. Full throttle up and, st and look at that. Yeah. That was just like fully uh, straight up. Okay, let's do that again on low rate. Low rate, you might have a chance. <laughs> okay, here we go. Full throttle and up. All right, so a, a little bit of a turn, just a bit. Yeah. So you can tell it wanted to. So it's essentially, uh, you got to be really careful. Now, okay, if it was just loops, you don't care because you could just like, you know, do nice big loops and you're fine. The problem is, is if you're going to try, I'll go back to, let's go to medium rate. Um, so that way you can see the problem. The problem is, is if you're trying to do really tight turns. So like we're flying in this little park flyer area where you generally don't have as much space to fly. So you end up doing your turns tighter here. So I come over here and I turn and I try to bank it. Look at that. Did you see how the wings just sort of like fell over? That's, that's part of the accelerated stall. So it's essentially I'm trying to keep this turn tight and that's what I want. But if I give it too much elevator, just like that, see what it does? It rolls over on you and it stalls. It looks like the other wing dropped. Let's do that again. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn tight. I'm gonna turn even tighter, turn tighter, turn tighter, and there it is. All I yeah. did was all I did was just try to tighten my turn with the elevator. And it looked like it went up. Yeah. You know. Yeah, essentially it dropped the other wing, which is really interesting. You know? So not the wing that was down, it actually dropped the other wing. You know? At first I thought it was AS3X doing some weird stuff and I don't think it is. I think it's just the plane getting into an accelerated stall. Yeah. You know? So again, I'm not blaming e-flight on this i don't think it's their problem i think it's you know trying to fly a model that's supposed to be scale in an unscaled manner you know kind of like this you know so i mean when you start doing like weird stuff and the airframe is not really designed uh-oh uh -oh, damn what? dude i thought you <laughs> i was like oh crap is that gonna recover yeah when you when your airframe is not designed for it there's only so much you can do when you build a model of it. Now, I'm assuming that when you build a model of it, it's, you know, like, you, you can't scale air. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so no matter what, it's never going to fly the same as the real plane. Um, but, you know, for us as modelers, you know, sometimes we like to push it and do some, you know, a little bit more crazy maneuvers than what you would do in a real plane because you're not in it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no but cargo getting thrown around. On this one, you do have to be careful because you kind of do want, like, I like flying this thing in high rates so I can bring it around. And also I have enough um, elevator authority when I'm, when I'm flying slow. Mm. Um, but you can't expect it to fly like 
uh, full-on 3D aerobatic plane. Especially the more scale it looks and the more, you know, pretty it looks, honestly. Yeah. You know? So there used to be, like, um, a lot of um, uh, liberties taken in models, in older models. Like, you'll get a lot of, uh, you know, like, old scale planes, like, by Top Flight and, you know, some of the old, you know, like, really good manufacturers. And what they would do is they would actually build, like, bigger surfaces mm -hmm. than actual. Yeah. You know, because you can't scale the air. And so they actually, you know, make it so that it, like, flies better. Yeah. They'll change the airfoil, they'll do that, you know, like that kind of stuff to make it fly, you know, more like what we as modelers want. Yeah. You know, and on this plane, I think they did a lot of that, and I think they did a lot of that with AS3X, but, you know, you can't expect it to, you know. Okay, gears down, I'm gonna do flaps. And I'll try to come in for a landing. A little bouncy. The 18 but made a buck. Again, I'm not going to fault the plane. I think this is a great plane. And if you fly it more scale like mm -hmm. with a few maneuvers, you're going to love it. Yeah. You know, but if you expect it to uh, fly like your 3D plane or, you know, your favorite Yank and Banker, um, no, it's not going to do it. All right. That's cool, it. Cool. Awesome.